Good morning everyone! This is Ella from Succulent House. Welcome to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, welcome, welcome, and thank you for dropping by. If you're an old visitor or an old subscriber, thank you so much for uh, keep coming back and watching my videos. I really, really, really appreciate all the positive comments that you guys have been leaving on my channel, and I do hope that you continue to appreciate all of my um, succulent videos as well as all of my um, uh, plant videos. So for today, I'm going to show you the biggest plant haul that I ever did in my entire life. So a few days ago, I um, showed you a picture. I took you to a plant horticulture society garden show which was um, held in Calipo and um, there's a lot of wonderful wonderful stalls right there and I just uh, fell in love with all, all, all of the plants like if I have the money I would probably buy each and every single variety that was there in all the stalls um, they have cacti, they have succulents, they have house plants, they have vegetables, they also have trees and of course i went into hunting for the the plants on my wish list so today i'm going to show you all these plants that i have in front of me are from my home um i actually took home 18 plants that's 18 plants and it probably cost me around 2500 for everything or less but that includes two trees a mango tree which is a sweet mango tree from Guimaras and a mangosteen tree that my dad bought um, the mango tree and the, the mangosteen tree is around 500 so for today I'm going to show you all the plants that I bought and let's get started this one is a Calithia or Bifolia. Um, this Calithia is, I bought this for 200 pesos. I literally begged for the seller to give it to me because all of the Calithias that was in every stall are already sold to one person. So, this one, I asked her to give it to me. Yeah. And this one... Uh, oh, and um, this Calithia also has a new leaf unfurling. Yay! There. And then this one is a Philodendron Burl Max. Um... I initially thought it was Bilite, but if you look at the stalks, it's green, so yeah, that one. And then moving on to the other one is this guy. I still don't know the name of this uh, plant, but when I saw it, it reminded me that my boys actually like military plants or the leaf that has um, camouflage design. So, I know that there's a couple of holes in it, but um, this is the last one that she had. So, that guy. So, I just hope that um, the new leaf that will unfurl will be better than that one. Um, and then, let's moving, moving on is this rattle. Is this a, a, a Calithia rattle? snake not sure but this one has been on my wish list for the longest time so guy look at the foliage so pretty and also the back there's some watermarks but I think I can um, take it off and clean it off later guy on at the bottom is uh, the seller said it's a philodendron, philodendron lemon um, lemon lime if you see the older leaves are dark green and the new leaves are 
yellow and it has a variegated leaf so when I saw this I only got this for a hundred I immediately took it and of course this lovely beauty is a ficus Elastica, uh, sorry, Ficus triangularis variegata. Um, so pretty. So I saw one that is very large in the Colibu Public Market, but it cost 700 So I already saw how it will look like when it grows to an adult plant. So when I saw that they're selling some juvenile ones, I immediately got one for myself. And this is the only succulent that I bought in my entire plant haul. This is a Euphorbia White Ghost. I got a crested one a few years ago when I was starting, but that I actually killed it. So I'm giving it another shot now that I have more experience with Euphorbias. And let's see if this one will grow tall. And this right here has been on my wish list for the longest time. It's a um, Pothos Enjoy. So I only got that for 50 pesos. Moving on is let's go to this beautiful Calivia. I don't know the name but look at those shiny new leaf. Um, the old leaves are a bit um ugly but i can see that there are babies here so this is why i am i took them here is my first well second aglonema i killed my first aglonema so i'm gonna my 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 youngest gardener mj is the one who chose this and he has been asking me to buy it he liked it because of the color white and green and he said it looks like a camouflage but he was surprised when we actually bought when we found that big guy right there so it's an aglonema i think this one is the chinese evergreen if you know the names of the plants that i bought please leave a comment down below Next off is this wonderful pink syngonium. So, I'm not sure if it's a syngonium or a caladium. So, if I'm mistaken, please let me know. Please, please, please put, put a comment below. There. And then, it. I also have this pink um, syngonium again. I think it's a syngonium but when I saw the mother plant it was all the leaves are pink so yes how can I resist another one is this guy right there it's another um, Califia I'm not sure the name so that one and this one is my first ever purchase of an anthurium um i saw there was this huge anthurium in the other stall that was bigger than my face and when i saw the leaves it was really really pretty but when i touched the leaf it was very velvety same as this one i'm not sure if it's the same variety but so I can't resist so if you have any tips this is the first time I'm going to um, take care of an anthurium um, please leave a comment down below now let's go to the pepperomias that I actually bought um, I saw this first um, in one of the stalls and I asked if this was a pepperomia and the seller doesn't know what I'm talking about. So, it is, I think it is a pepperomia. But, if not, please, please let me know in the comment what, what, what beautiful plant is this. 
What's this? Right here. I saw this on our way out. And my nephew was the one who pointed it out to me. I first I first saw this watermelon pep uh watermelon pepperonia. Sorry, but it got beaten up on our way home. Um in a transit with all of these plants. Um so some of the leaves are accidentally it, it broke. It has more here. But look at the promising leaves there. It this has been on my wish list for the longest time. I don't see them um pepperomias in Calibo Park public market usually so when I saw this even if it's already out of my budget I had to take it in and then my nephew saw this silver one I don't know the name but when I looked at the inside there's a lot of the babies there and the seller was so nice she taught me that I should buy a pot that has a <coughs> a bladder in it and not to water them from the top but water them from here so if you have any tips for me um for taking care of peperomias uh, the first one i have is a peperomia ferrier which is more of a succulent type so these right there i'm not sure how to take care of them but yeah and last but not least is my lemon lime pothos um i have one that was propagating which i actually placed here that i tried to propagate it's a cutting but i tried to water propagation it's not working so i'm going to put that this cutting right here together with this new one to see if it will thrive so there all in all, 18 plants. I think it's a peperomia, but I'm not sure. So if we're wrong, please leave a comment below. And this is enjoy. Enjoy pothos. Yes. What's this? And this is a chula ghost plant. I don't Are you euphorbia ghost plant? What's this? Plant. That one is a pink, pink? syngonium. Pink syngonium. And, and or they call it a... Chinese asoria. <laughs> no, it's Chinese evergreen. And Chinese evergreen. And what about this guy right there? I don't know. An? Anthorium. 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 And, and you have some big plant that you missed out there. What's yes. that? That is. That is what? Yes. Letter F. Forky. Ficus. Ficus Triangular. Ficus Triangularis. Ficus Triangularis. So that's it. We went to where did we bought that earlier? Agree. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah agree fair. First one. Then that's it. Well, goodbye. Yes, just come to shop your own stuff. Bye! Bye.